All right, guys, welcome back. Today I went by Track Supply, picked up a few things, fixed this uh, new PTO uh, shaft for the rake, and uh, had a little bit of issues earlier trying to get a get the U joint in, but I'll show you what I had to what I had to do. Now right, here is the old uh, piece for the hay rake, and remember this spring was bad and. So I decided that I would just replace it. So here's the replacement part. So I bought this, bought a U-joint, started putting it in, got it in this thing fine. It fit perfect here. But I had some issues with my yoke. Can you tell? Can you tell? This yoke bent bad very very bad so here's the replacement yoke this is a weld in and it better damn fit now, I know I measured this damn thing but it down down sure don't fit I guess it's a good thing I didn't put it on first Okay, well apparently I can't uh, can't keep up with what I had. This is a 7 8 square, and I believe this was a 5 8 square. So that ain't gonna work. I'll have to take this back see if I can find one to fit that. I almost wish I could just find a shaft to fit this and take both them things back. This one's got the the end, but I would need I would need the uh, I think the piece slides into here, so I would need that piece. Actually, I might have one somewhere. Oh, look at all this junk. Up under here somewhere there's a PTO shaft. I don't even remember what that come off of. There's another one right here. And then there's another one way back there. on top of shit. Let's see what this is. Oh, my toe. All right, this is... It's had some wire on it. One of them's one end, one of them's the other. Let me grab this thing and slide it out and we'll see what we got. Hey right, guys, looks like my have locked up. Uh, this shaft to come out of that, it will fit into this shaft that come off the parts rake. This shaft will work. Uh, the U-joint is in good shape. So, all we'll have to do really is cut this to length because it's way too long right now. I believe that came off of a uh, bush hog or something. Had a little bit of trouble getting it apart, but I used my little hand winch and the chain to this post and got them slid apart. That thing just did not want to come apart by hand. That's usually what I do. I hook a chain to one end, and this little hand winch to the other, and pull them, and it pulled right easy, and pulled right on out. Now this thing did have the guards. These guards are shot, so I'm not even going to bother trying to use them. But that's a good reason to save parts like that. There's another. That's definitely a bush hog. 
right there. I'm not sure what this PTO shaft came off of. Huh. But it's got a it's got a knuckle on each end. It's got one of these on each end of it. So this will work. And what I'll do is I'll take this 75 dollars worth of stuff here and this $15 U-joint back and get my money back. And that'll save me a lot of work. All I gotta do is when I get it ready, I'll cut it to length and then we'll fit it together. Now, one thing I do notice is, of course, the way this is supposed to match up is this yoke here is supposed to be right even with this yoke, but you can tell that this, these yokes are not aligned, but it's only just a little bit out of, out of alignment. So hopefully it won't be too bad vibrating. All right, guys, finish this video up. What I did is I collapsed, collapsed this to where it bottomed out. Then I took my old one and measured, and I figured I needed to cut off 13 inches off this shaft. So I kind of got to scratch the mark right here. I got to tighten uh, this in the clamp. So now we just need to take grind these edges down a little bit. This is sharp. Stay tuned for more on this old rake.